next problem we need to find the uh, equation of the hyperbola uh, shown in the figure uh, so as we can see uh, these are the uh, vertices uh, so the length of major axis will be so this will be the uh, center of the hyperbola so center the coordinate of this point will be so the x coordinate is minus 1 and the y coordinate is minus 2 uh, so the uh, center that is the uh, hk value will be uh, equal to uh, minus 1 minus 2 and uh, this will be the major axis so uh, the major axis will be uh, this so the uh, length will be uh, 2a so 2a is actually equal to so the total length of uh, this portion will be 6 so a will be equal to uh, 3 and uh, the value of b will be B is also uh, equal to uh, 6 uh, so B is equal to uh, 3 so A and B are uh, equal to 3 and HK is the center uh, so uh, we will have the equation of the uh, hyperbola and um, the, this is uh, hyperbola um, in this direction so uh, it will be of the form uh, y minus k uh, whole square by uh, a square minus uh, x minus h uh, whole square uh, by uh, b square equal to 1. So that will be uh, y plus 2 whole square. Now a square will be uh, 9 minus uh, x minus uh, so x minus minus 1. So we will get x plus 1 whole square by 9 uh, equal to 1. So that will be the uh, equation of the hyperbola next problem we need to uh, find the equation of hyperbola in vertex form that has uh, the following information so the vertices uh, will be 9 12 and 9 minus 18 so the uh, x values are fixed uh, so the hyperbola is going to be uh, about uh, this line x equal to uh, 9 so we have the uh, points uh, 9 12 and 9 9 minus 18 uh, so these will be uh, points on the hyperbola they will be the vertices so uh, this will be the uh, shape of the hyperbola uh, so uh, 2a value will be uh, 12 uh, minus minus 18 uh, so that will be uh, equal to 30 so a value will be equal to uh, 15 and the force a will be uh, 9 minus 3 uh, plus or minus uh, root of uh, 229 and 9 uh, plus or minus root of 229 uh, that means uh, a e uh, will be root of uh, a square plus b square so that will be equal to root, uh, root of 229 uh, so 15 a value is 15 so we will get 225 uh, plus b square equal to uh, root of 229 so b square must be equal to 4 so b must be equal to uh, 2 so a will be 15 uh, b will be uh, 2 and uh, the uh, four side again the center uh, will have uh, x coordinate as 9 itself so h will be equal to um, 9 and um, for uh, force i um, we will have the coordinates of force i will be h then uh, k plus or minus root of ae uh, so k value uh, will be equal to minus 3 so that will be h and k uh, so therefore uh, the equation of the hyperbola will be uh, so uh, we will get y minus k so that will be y plus 3 uh, whole square by uh, 225 will come so that will be 225 minus uh, so we will have x minus 9 whole square by 4 equal to 1 so that will be the uh, equation of the hyperbola uh, next problem we need to write the equation of circle in standard form uh, given the end points of the diameter as minus 12 10 and uh, minus 18 uh, 12 so um, 
we are uh, given the endpoints of uh, the diameter uh, so uh, the uh, length of uh, the diameter will be length of the diameter will be root of um, minus 18 uh, minus minus 12 so we'll get plus 12 uh, whole square plus 12 minus 10 uh, whole square so that will be equal to uh, root of so we'll get 6 square here minus 6 square so that will be 36 uh, plus 4 uh, so the length will be uh, root 40 so uh, the radius is going to be uh, equal to uh, root 40 by 2 uh, so we can write this as uh, 2 root 10 uh, by 2 uh, so the radius value will be equal to root 10 points of the diameter uh, so the uh, midpoint of that will be the uh, center of the circle so by uh, midpoint formula the coordinates of the midpoint will be uh, so if x1 x2 y1 y2 are the coordinates then uh, midpoint has a formula x1 plus y1 by 2 and x2 plus y2 by 2 uh, so we will get the center to be minus 12 minus 18 by 2 and 10 plus 12 by 2 so which is minus 15 11 so this will be the center and radius is root 10. So the equation of circle will be uh, x minus minus 15. So we will get x plus 15 whole square plus y minus 11 whole square equal to uh, root 10 square which is equal to uh, 10. So that will be the uh, equation of the circle. And next one um, we need to write the equation of ellipse in standard form. So we are uh, given this information. So center is minus 9, minus 5. Uh, so h will be minus 9 and k will be uh, minus uh, 5. Uh, now uh, we are uh, given the uh, vertex. So uh, vertex is uh, minus uh, 9, minus 16. Uh, so the vertex is of the form h then uh, k plus or minus uh, a form um, so we will be having uh, k minus a so already k will be uh, uh, minus 5 uh, so k minus a will be minus 16 so k minus so k is uh, minus 5 so minus 5 uh, plus 16 will be equal to a so a will be equal to 11 so a value uh, will be uh, 11 and uh, a e value will be equal to uh, 6 root 2 so that will be equal to root of a square minus b square so which is 121 uh, so a square will be 121 so 121 minus b square will come uh, so uh, 6 uh, root 2 when we uh, square 6 root 2 we will get 72 so 72 will be equal to 121 minus b square so b square will be uh, 121 minus 72 so we will get uh, uh, 9 uh, so 49 will come so that will be the value of uh, b square uh, so we have got the center a value is 11 so uh, b will be equal to Seven. Uh, so the equation will be uh, so we will get x uh, minus minus 9 so we will get x plus 9 whole square by 11 square uh, plus so here we will get y minus minus 5 so that will be y plus 5 uh, whole square by uh, 7 square uh, equal to 1 so that will be the uh, equation of the ellipse. Uh, next one we are uh, given the center uh, 7 3 and the vertex is 7 9 uh, so uh, the coordinate of hk uh, is going to be uh, equal to uh, 7 and 3 so that will be h and k values uh, so we will have the equation in the form x minus 7 whole square uh, plus y minus 3 whole square then we need to find what is a square and b square so this would be equal to 1 to many we need to find a square and b square so uh, 7 uh, 3 so this will be the point 7 3 
so 73 will be the uh, center and uh, the uh, next value will be uh, 79 so 79 will be here uh, so this will be so the uh, length of uh, this part will be so from 3 to 9 so this length will be uh, equal to uh, 6 uh, so uh, length of this part uh, so the next coordinate of the vertex is uh, going to be at minus 3 so that the length is again uh, 6 so this will be the shape of uh, the uh, ellipse so the ellipse is going to look like this so here the major axis uh, is in the uh, y direction uh, so uh, a square will be uh, in this part so we will have y minus 3 whole square by a square uh, so 2a uh, so a value will be equal to 6 so here we will get a square that is 36 now we are given the uh, focus so focus will be so we will have h then uh, k uh, plus or minus uh, a e so k value is 3 so uh, k minus uh, a e is equal to uh, minus 2 so we will get minus a e equal to minus 5 so uh, a e is equal to uh, 5 so k e is equal to 5 so that is root of uh, a square a square is 36 minus b square uh, will be equal to 5 or 36 minus b square will be equal to 25 so we will get b square equal to 11 so b square value will be 11 uh, so that will be the uh, equation of the ellipse so we will have x minus 7 whole square by 11 plus y minus 3 whole square by 36 uh, equal to 1 and next one need to uh, graph uh, uh, the uh, equation uh, where the asymptotes are y equal to minus 5 by 4 uh, x plus 1 and 5 by 4 x minus 9 and uh, the focus is uh, 4 and minus 4 uh, root of 41 so the focus will be of the form uh, h uh, then k plus or minus a e uh, so that will be uh, 4 minus 4 uh, plus 41 uh, so we will get h equal to 4 uh, k will be uh, minus 4 and uh, this will be a e uh, a e will be equal to uh, root of uh, 41 and from the uh, asymptotes uh, we have uh, the value 5 by 4 that will be equal to b by a so b by a will be equal to uh, 5 by 4 uh, so we will get uh, b equal to uh, 5a by 4 uh, so if we take root of uh, a square plus b square so let me put b square as uh, this the square of this so that will be 25 a square by 16 uh, so that is going to be uh, equal to uh, root 41 uh, so uh, upon simplifying this we will get root uh, so 16 uh, a square plus 25 a square will be so that will be 41 a square uh, by 16 that will be equal to root 41 so root 41 will cancel off so we are going to get a by 4 equal to 1 so a will be uh, equal to 4 so if a is 4 then uh, b will be equal to uh, 5 so we have got uh, h value h k then uh, a and b so the uh, equation of the hyperbola uh, will be uh, so uh, here uh, we will get so b value uh, is greater uh, so we will be uh, getting y minus k so that will be y plus 4 uh, whole square by b square so that will be 25 minus uh, x minus 4 uh, whole square by a square will be 16 equal to 1 so that will be the uh, equation of the hyperbola and the graph will be like this so center will be at 4 minus 4 and uh, this uh, distance will be equal to 5 so uh, we will be uh, getting
getting the graphics.